Welcome to another tutorial video from Tolomats. Make sure and subscribe for more. This is the proof to theorem six, our second theorem. Each exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. So just to give you a brief idea of what's happening here, it's when you have questions that look like this. And all it's saying is that this exterior angle is always equal to the sum of the two uh, opposite interior angles. So that's what this theorem is telling us and this is what we need to prove that that is always the case. So first of all we're going to do as per previous theorems we're going to write down what we're given and what we are given is we are given the triangle uh, ABC and I'm going to have that exterior angle here as well. So that's what we're given and I'm just going to write that down in English as well. So we are given triangle ABC with an exterior angle. Okay, so you, when you're writing these in your junior search or leaving search, make sure that you write down both uh, what you're given and also draw it out. Okay, next one is then what we want to prove. And what we want to prove is that the two interior angles are equal to that opposite angle. Well, what I'm just going to do first of all is I'm going to write in my construction. And my constructions are going to be that I'm going to label angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four. So it'll make it a little bit easier for my proof part. So all I mean by that is I'm just going to label them maybe uh, 1 for A, 2 for B, 3 for C, and my exterior angle 4. Okay, that's all I wanted to do there. So what I want to prove is that angle 4, that exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles, which in my diagram are 1 and 2. Now yours could be labelled any way they want, so I've just labelled them this way. So that's what we want to prove. We've done our construction and we've done our given. Now it's a fairly short and easy uh, theorem this one. Now we want to do our proof, our final step. And our proof is going to be writing down, first of all, anything we know. Well, we do know that angle uh, three plus angle four is equal to 180 degrees. And why is that? If we come up, angle three and angle four are on a straight line. So that's one thing we know. So angle three and angle four are equal to 180 because they are on a straight line. Now make sure we write our reasoning for our examiner. They know where we're getting this information. Next thing we also know then is that angles one, two, and three equals 180 degrees. So angles one, two, and three equals 180 degrees. Why? Because they add up to 180 degrees because that's what all angles in a triangle add up to. And we proved that in theorem four. So we're using our knowledge of theorem four. So you can state here um, in here in our reasoning, all angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. Or you can be very smart about it and you can just say theorem four proof. If you want, that could be a nicer way of saying it. Keep a good examiner happy that you know your your uh, theorem four as well, but just state that all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, now our final part is that you can see that this is equal to 180 degrees and this is equal to 180 degrees. So both of them are equal to 180 degrees and when two things are equal to each other, we can put our equal sign between them. So we know that angle three plus angle four is equal to 180 degrees but it is also equal to angle one plus angle two plus angle three because they're equal to 180 degrees. So that equal sign there is very important as all we're stating is that this is equal to 180 degrees and this is equal to 180 degrees. So we're letting them equal to each other. Now, we are now gonna just use a little bit of algebra and hopefully you'll see what's common to the left and what's common to the right. So we're basically gonna divide both sides by angle three. So in other words, we are eliminating angle three from both sides because it is common to both sides. And that then just leaves us with angle four 
equals angle one plus angle two. Well, I think that's what we wanted to prove, isn't it? Angle four is equal to angle one and angle two. Well, there it is here. Angle four is equal to angle one plus two, and we're done. So it's a straightforward, easy enough proof. And um, with a little bit of algebra, you can prove that that exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior angles. Okay, hopefully that helps. That is the proof to theorem six. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.